Okay, guys, so uh, if you're with us on WFLA now, Jack Roy, you're out here at Pier 60 at Clearwater Beach. What you're looking at is this injured dolphin that we've been following for the past few hours. It apparently was released and then has come back. Uh, and is now in the care of uh, folks with shirts from the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. And you can see here they've just moved this crowd back to try to get the dolphin to safety uh, and get it the care that it needs. So this is a live image right now. You can see there's a large crowd gathered uh, watching this effort that has been quite impressive and hours long. Uh, we've got four folks carrying it in a tarp with dolphin fin holes. They've clearly done this many times. They are absolutely professionals at what they do. The police here supporting them, moving folks out of the way. But you can see it's quite a draw for the crowd here. Uh, and, and a lot of folks have been invested. Some folks even applauding right now the work of these folks who are, uh, you know, so committed to what they do and experts at it clearly. Folks around here are uh, enthralled with it. This has been an hours long uh, operation to try to rescue this dolphin. Uh, JB, it seems this will be somewhat of a conclusion to at least the scene here on the beach. Uh, but folks here, uh, one gentleman stopped me. He, he lives nearby. He shared some photos of the initial rescue efforts and, and folks who've been standing around. This crowds have been gathered as long as our crews have been here this afternoon. We've talked to several people about it. It sounds as though the dolphin was uh, initially injured here, trapped here. It sounds like it went away and came back, and that's why they decided to go ahead and take it out of the water. If you want to look one more time, you can see folks are sort of starting to clear back out and, and go back to what they were doing. This is a packed Clearwater Beach on a Wednesday in July. A lot of folks on vacation here. Like I said, the gentleman I talked to shared some photos with me. He says he's, he's got a boat here that he comes to stay. He's from Houston, Texas, but, you know, for some, this is a common occurrence. For others who've never seen something like this, it's quite uh, a sight to behold. So uh, folks are starting to play in the water again. There was a bit of a uh, triage center, if you will, an operations area set up with Clearwater Police and folks from the Marine Aquarium. They have just carried that dolphin, uh, I suppose, to safety, to a place that they can get proper care for that. Uh, dolphin as we work to sort of learn more about the exact procedure that will take place now, where they'll take it, what they'll do with it, uh, and what transpired because uh, I was talking to photojournalist Bob Hansen here who's been here a bit longer than I have who shared with me that, that the dolphin went away and came back. So uh, it's been quite a sight for folks here on the beach to see today and the professionalism, the expertise of the folks who deal with this every day just carried that dolphin out in that tarp and uh, are, are long gone at this point. So JB, that's the, the look here. We'll still be here talking to folks and uh, talking to the experts about what exactly happened here over the past few hours on a, on a Wednesday at the beach, JB. Jack, I know you're going to be coming up in our newscast here on WFLA News Channel 8. Is there anything that we you can see off your off to your right there as to uh, whether or not they have loaded that dolphin up into a vehicle? Because that's probably where they're probably going to take well, the dolphin to Clearwater Marine Aquarium, I would imagine, right? Yes, and those the, that's the personnel that were out here were from the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. It was several police. Uh, uh, what do you call those mules those those kawasaki uh trucks right here i mean i'm standing in front of one what am i talking about these polaris devices were driving with the dolphin it had four folks from the marine aquarium carrying the dolphin in a blue tarp with holes for the fins and everything so uh it looks to be in good shape in terms of the care it will receive as you note they will likely take it to the aquarium for care we to answer your question cannot see anything at this point they uh pretty quickly scurried away as i got here Folks were still out in the water from the aquarium. And then right as I walked up to this scene, uh, they they said, hey, everybody, we need you to back up. We need you to clear this area. And folks did. A lot of people had their cell phones out to take some videos. Uh, folks applauded the work of these, of these professionals as they were able to get that dolphin out. So we assume, but we will confirm what you speculate, that they will likely take it to the aquarium for more care. WFLA's Jack Royer. Jack, we'll see you on our... Newscast coming up here beginning with first at four on your NBC station, Tampa Bay, WFLA News Channel 8. Thanks, Jack. Thanks, JB. All right, back here with you live, folks, on WFLA Now. That was Jack Royer uh, just arriving there to Clearwater Beach. And big salute to Bob Hansen uh, getting his feet and uh, losing his shoes there at one point on the beach uh, with a uh, sandy assignment, if you will. Uh, again, uh, a big response there at Clearwater Beach and a large crowd that gathered that you saw there. Uh, at the Pier 60 location where the dolphin was trapped in a crab 
trap or, or tangled in a crab trap underneath the pier. Uh, but so grateful to our uh, hardworking men and women of CMA and, and clear water agencies in the area that uh, they were able to assist very, very quickly, get the dolphin untangled, and they attempted to reunite the dolphin with its mother on site. That was unsuccessful, so it's back to Clearwater Marine Aquarium. That's likely where they are heading, and uh, of course, we'll follow up with this story. Anybody who wants updates on this story will absolutely be posting it to WFLA.com, the WFLA app. You can click on the link in the description on this video. It'll take you over to WFLA.com, the WFLA app, where we have the very latest for you on this story. And yes, praying for some good news. I think that folks were really hoping for there to be that heartwarming, special reunification of the dolphin with its pod that didn't happen today but that doesn't mean it's not going to happen uh, in the future we'll of course try to keep you posted with information from clearwater marine officials and uh and we'll of course share that information your way on wfla.com the wfla app also coming up on your nbc station grab your tv remotes turn to wfla news channel 8 your nbc station right here in tampa bay you'll see jack you'll see the entire team here at wfla with the very latest on the biggest headlines occurring around tampa bay and across the state of florida thanks so much for joining us here on hashtag ajb on wfla now we really appreciate it and we'll see you next time from the wfla now stream center